guys, this is Rideep and you are watching a brand new episode of Learn with Rideep. In this particular episode, I am going to show you the new variable of Figma and how we can use it with conditional statements to create amazing, amazing animations and utility elements for your Figma prototype. So let's get started. But before we deep dive, kindly like, share and comment on this video if you really like it. And if you can really suggest me what next I should show you when it comes to Figma UI designs, I will be ready to do it for you in this channel so that you can follow me and learn in your own pace how to master Figma. So here we have this particular screen, which you can see it is basically made as a neomorphism design where you have a preloader or a volume control you can say basically simple i want this blue line blue beveled line to move from one part of this uh, what i would say uh, etched out or uh, etched in area it will just flow from one end to the other like a preloader it will load from one side to the other means the volume will increase if i click on this plus and the volume will decrease if the i will click on this minus similar you can it has a lot of similar utility so you can use it um in a in whatever form you want to use it actually so basically let's see so what we have we have this um gradient um, bar sort of thing over here and uh, what I have done basically I have wanted to make this as a 400 size so if it is a 400 size if you see it's 400 if I make it 400 over here it goes up to this so the other one like this okay so this is 396, great. So what I will do basically, I will keep this thing half of this. So the 400, if it is then say 200, I'll keep it like 200 sort of thing. And when I click on this, so every increment will be five, five, uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, way. it will increase in that way till it reaches 400 and similarly, uh, it will reduce by 10 if I click on the negative this thing as simple as that okay so let me <clears throat> let me see how we do it so deselect everything so these are one object two objects there is a couple of object over here don't click on any one of them click outside and click on this local variables and I will create a basic variable uh, say it's number because I want this uh, variable to be attached to this particular um, ray of line this liquid uh, bar which will actually scale up so I will say for example name it as a volume bar and uh, as I told basic level I will put it as 200 that's okay. It is absolutely immaterial, whatever value I put over there. Okay. So now I will click over here and over here, if you see the 200 I have already inserted earlier, I will just quickly click on this icon over here and I will link this element with this volume bar so that if, if I see now, if I reduce, say, if, say I make it 20, it will go to 20. If I make it 500, it will go 500. So, okay. So for the time being, I keep it as whatever. I can keep it at 120 also. That's immaterial. I can keep it anything over there. Okay. Great. Okay. Now I have to link this thing with this ones so that when I go on clicking on plus, this will increase. When I click on minus, this will reduce. Great. So I will click on this plus sign and we'll go to prototype. Okay. And now I will click on the interaction on click in this none. I will now go to 
conditional and i will just click on volume bar if volume bar is so let's let's understand if volume bar is less than or equal to 390 so you can understand i am telling that every click will give it 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so i will go till 390 so that when i click on the last click it will increase by 10 and it will go to 390 okay at to 400 okay 390 plus 10 400 okay what i will do if it is less than or equal to 390 i will set a variable what variable volume bar to again volume bar plus 10 let us see what happens nothing i have done only for one part i will click on preview bring over here so that you guys can see it and if i click on this see every click it is taking it to 10 so it goes on then then it reaches 400 it will not go anymore okay now i have to do it for this one great so i will click on this simple go to interaction go to on click i will again do a conditional statement I will click over here, choose the volume bar. Now, if the volume bar is greater than or equal to 10, what I will do? I will reduce the volume bar every time by 10. Okay. So, set variable volume bar to volume bar minus 10. Awesome. You have done it. Nothing else. You don't require anything else so now if we see the prototype if i'm going on clicking on the minus it goes till it reaches zero okay similarly we'll go on increasing till it reaches 400 that's the power of your uh, variables and conditional statements so i think you have learned something very useful today a very basic interactivity i showed which is very simple a preload bar which can be used as a volume bar you click on the plus signs it increases you click on the minus sign it decreases i will show you more some very very interesting very easy clickable very easy to do interactivity using variables and conditional statements right here in learn with Rhythm in the next episodes till then i think you can use this particular video to learn about this type of interactivity and create your own interactive preloaders or volume controls please share with me i will be happy to see that how you guys are progressing and if you're stuck somewhere don't feel hesitated and reach out to me on 3 d 2015 at gmail.com. I will definitely find time to help you out with your problems pertaining to Figma. Till then, goodbye and God bless.